Today on Siege Off Road, we're going to make this EcoBoost F-150 perform a whole lot better with some help from Bully Dog. The EcoBoost F-150 is a powerful truck right from the factory, but there's no such thing as too much power. So today we're going to make it perform a whole lot better with this Bully Dog BDX programmer. I have Johnny from Bully Dog. What can you tell me about this product? So we're really excited about this new release that we have. It's, as you mentioned, the newest, the latest and greatest, and it has a lot of things with it now that some of, or none of our other programmers have actually had before. For example, one of the uh, favorite options is that you no longer have to update these on a computer. So there's no running back and forth, no additional wires to use. And for Mac users, that's a really that's big awesome. bonus. So you can actually just link it into your Wi-Fi there's an option for a check for updates on the device and it just downloads those updates directly from the, from the cloud. If you're someone that wants to do custom tuning, same basic concept. You give a dealer your serial number off of it, they build the file, send it over to you, you link it up to Wi-Fi and it downloads directly into the device, which makes it really, really easy. Um, it is a handheld as you can see, but there is actually a mounting option for the guys that want to look at the gauges. There is that availability to do that. It also has the availability for 20 custom tunes now, so it's got a lot more room than any of the other devices have had before. Awesome, let's get to the installation. Tuning this truck with the BDX programmer to crank out more power seriously couldn't be any easier. The first thing you're going to do is plug it into the OBD2 port. So once you get it plugged into the diagnostic port, the first thing you're going to want to do is update it. So we're going to go down to the device settings, select that, and we're going to check for updates. So we're going to select that. We need to confirm. Now this is going to require Wi-Fi, so that's how we're going to continue. So this is the best part about this. No running back to the computer to do any updates. You can just do it over Wi-Fi. So it's going to scan for your available networks. That's ours that we're going to select. And then you're going to enter the passcode if there is one. And once it's connected to the Wi-Fi, it's going to notify you of that. Select OK. And it's going to start verifying your files from the cloud. So we're going to go into program vehicle. We're going to check for the vehicle updates. So we want to confirm that. And of course, it's going to tell you that your internet is required. So we're going to continue there. So everything is up to date. So we go ahead and hit select. After it does your Wi-Fi updates, it's actually going to update the firmware on the device. So once it's done doing this, it'll be completed and we can go in and do the download to the vehicle for programming. Okay, so it's up to date. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to pull down some files from the cloud on this particular download. So it's going to request the cloud files. And there's our tune that we want. So we're going to select that and hit continue. Now when it goes into downloading the files, we're actually going into the ECM. We're going to reprogram it for the changes that we want to make. When that starts to happen, there's going to be a lot of crazy things that go on in the vehicle as well, like the lights are going to come on, your alarms and your bells and your whistles and everything are going to go off, which is completely normal, so don't panic about that. And then also when it's doing your download, you want to make sure that you don't interrupt the download. Don't turn the vehicle on. You want to leave it in the accessory mode. Then the first thing that's going to come up is your disclaimer. You have to accept that to continue. And now it's going to ask you to turn the key on, which ours already is. So we're going to hit continue. So it's asking us if this is a custom tune. It is, so we're going to continue. And so right now it's telling us it's saving the stock data. So make sure you don't turn the ignition key off or disconnect the device. OK. And now it's finalizing our tune. OK. And now it's going to write our tune. So this is the part where it also becomes important to not disconnect the device, don't start the vehicle.
And this is what I'm talking about is during the programming, it starts to set off all of the door dings and things along those lines, which is totally normal. Um, it always does a clearing of the DTCs at the end, just in case we happen to throw any codes during the download process, which does happen sometimes. Okay, now it's telling us to turn the vehicle ignition key to off position. I'm gonna go ahead and select that and turn that off. Now it's gonna ask me to turn the key on. So again, it's gonna give you all the directions and instructions. So it's really important to follow what the programmer's saying. And congratulations, the vehicle has been programmed. So it is complete. And once that's all over and done with, You'll want to start the vehicle. And then you can take it out for a spin. All right, we got our BDX programmer all installed. Johnny, I want to thank you for coming out. Well, thanks for having me. No problem. Got the truck running really good. And I was surprised, you know, installing this really didn't take more than 20 minutes. Super easy. And if you want to learn more about this BDX programmer, visit cjponyparts.com.